Hello Sagittarius, Happy New Year guys. Welcome to your reading for the first half of January from the 1st through the 15th. General as always, so please keep that in mind throughout this reading and take from it what makes sense for you. Release the rest. So let's begin. Let's take a look and see what the energies are like entering into this brand new year for you, Sagittarius. I'll be starting with this deck by Maria of La Bella Anima 13 and I'll be pulling from the Grande Amore deck, okay? So let's take a look at that. Angels and spirit guides, please, for Sagittarius. When it comes to your partnerships, your love connections, what do we need to know here? We have door to amore, or is it door to amore? Heart activation, new beginning in love. How beautiful. Okay. Brand new year, brand new beginning, new beginning in love. So if you're single right now, just know that love is on its way to you. Or some of you guys could have a new beginning in your partnerships. Ooh, we've got wedding rings, commitment, union. How beautiful. Some of you guys might be getting married this year or you're already planning to get married the first half of January. Some of you guys could be newlyweds. A new beginning in love, right? Lockdown, faithful and loyal, committed. I love that. And then we have coffee date, meeting up, connecting, catching up. All right, so it depends on where your situation is. Either you've either just gotten married or you're planning a wedding this year, if not the first half of January, maybe it's happening in 2022. You know, in your partnership, you're of course hoping for commitment, faithfulness, loyalty. And some of you guys who might be single are just ready to open up a new door when it comes to love, meeting up, maybe at a coffee shop, could be a coffee date, just something simple, you know, something as simple as a coffee date, like as it says here, maybe you haven't seen this person in a very long time, they reach out, you guys reconnect, and it turns into something more this year. So let's explore that. Let's see where this is going to go. I'll pull from my tarot teacher deck here. Angels and spirit guides, please, for Sagittarius. Okay. We do have the Knight of Pentacles. So this is a very loyal person, okay, which is great to see. We've got Lockdown Faithful. And this is somebody who's very slow moving. So maybe when you guys first connected with this person, it did go slowly. You guys could have just started off as friends that met up for coffee and it turned into something more you know so that's actually a nice energy presenting itself perhaps from the masculine letting you know here that they really are ready to put in the necessary work and effort in a partnership maybe they had commitment issues before also which could explain this new beginning in love this is interesting because we've got the tower. We've got the death card. So take this if it applies. Some of you guys might have had a very unexpected breakup between you and your person. It came to an end. But what it does is it makes way for a new beginning. So maybe the old way of how you guys were dealing with each other, interacting with one another, there were some challenges or obstacles there that needed to not be a part of your future with this person it's either that or you had a part of your life a relationship that came to an end in order for you to start fresh to just be able to find love again and if it came to an end because somebody wasn't ready for commitment or there could have been infidelities and cheating there that as well could have been a problem but the way i see the tower especially is even though you might have experienced something painful catastrophic unexpected, a separation. It also woke you up to the possibilities of wanting more, wanting better for your relationships. So it might have knocked you off your feet. I mean, it could have been a very difficult journey for you. But if you have gone through this transition, then what this is telling us is you're ready for movement in your life. You're ready for a new beginning. You are open to the possibility of finding love that could lead towards marriage. This makes sense for me. So lay down the heaviness that you've been carrying when it comes to these experiences here. 
because somebody stressed you out, a situation was very difficult, you've been through some challenges. So it's time to move on from that because you can still find love. Absolutely you can. This represents success. This represents triumph right here. This represents action. So there are so many possibilities coming in for you, Sagittarius. Okay, so let's see what else. What else needs to come through for this reading? I wanted to pull from this deck by Pretty Spirits. This is the Soulmate Edition, the Truth Decks. What else do we need to know? Angels and Spirit Guides, please, for Sagittarius. For the first half of January. Yeah, see? Separation. There is a separation here that was necessary. And then we've got deeper commitment, you see? So it's one of those things where you had to go into separation for them to realize what they lost. And so maybe now they're ready for commitment. During this time apart, they've been thinking about you, dreaming about you. You guys could have been connecting in your dreams in the 5D telepathically. Astral travel could have been happening. And then we have offer patience. So maybe either you're just not the patient type or they're not. And wanting to reach out, wanting to see if this is the type of connection where you guys can have a reunion. So we'll have to explore that and see if it can go there. So I'll pull from my modern day Sears Tarot and Oracle Tarot with a twist. And if you're unfamiliar with this deck, it's one that I created especially for advanced beginners wanting to learn how to read tarot. The majority of the cards, it's got upright and reverse meanings. The twist here is that it includes new oracle messages as well as new court cards. So while you're learning, it challenges you as well. All right, so what else do we need to know? But that's confirming a separation here. So Divine Feminines, you're coming in with the energy of the High Priestess, intuition, inner voice, the Divine Truth, you know, facing the truth of the matter. Six of Wands, the Empress. So we've got feminine energy, Divine Feminine energy coming through here. Some of you guys could have already had children together, had a family together, and now we have not only a couple, but a family in separation. So this wasn't an easy thing whatsoever. And that doesn't guarantee reunion. For some of you, it means that you had to end one chapter of your life in order to begin a new one. And for some of you, that could lead towards a new relationship or an existing partnership at this point where you can find happiness, where you can experience that deeper commitment. You know, maybe part of the reason why you guys went into separation with somebody is because they didn't have what it took to be able to offer that deeper commitment. And then we've got the Emerald of Water. It's time to go with the flow of where life and love want to take you. Being rigid and closed-minded prevents you from growing and finding the many blessings that are meant for you. Remove stagnancy, stubbornness, and stalemate-type situations from your journey. Love yourself enough to see that you are a gem with so much to offer to the world and to the one who is meant for you. Exactly. So if you haven't found love yet, Sagittarius, just know that it's a part of your journey. Go with the flow, as it says, of where life wants to take you. You've got the chariot right here that could take you anywhere you want to go. Okay. And if part of the, the journey for you is to end up here, then that's telling us that you will find love again if that's what you've been dreaming about. Somebody clearly hurt you. Ten of Swords. That's why you guys went into separation. They betrayed you. They did things to ruin the partnership. It fell apart. You know, this makes sense why we have the Tower and the Death card, and now we've got the Ten of Swords. You know, and cards like the Ten of Wands, also very heavy energy. So you, you went through it, yes, but that's not your full story. That doesn't have to define the outcome of where 
you're meant to be. We do have the Page of Cups right here. So there's a very happy, perhaps unexpected surprise that's coming your way. Maybe Divine Feminines, you might connect with a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And this is simply confirming that you walked away from a relationship that was no longer serving a purpose in your life. You're heading towards calmer waters with the Six of Swords. You're healing. You're transitioning away from situations that challenge you, that just was no longer meant to be a part of your future. And I feel the direction that you are going is way better than where you've been. Okay, so that's where I'm going to end part one. Guys, if you resonated with this reading, please head on over to my Patreon page to check out part two if that's something that you are interested in. If you would like your own personal private reading, that info is down below. Thank you guys so much. Happy New Year. I'll see you next time.